Hello beautiful family, Stephen here, uh, Thursday the 14th of December in the year 2023 and I hope you are all well, I'm okay, I'm just going to pray over this, dear loving Heavenly Father, I pray you make this a blessing to everybody, I pray you keep the footage clear, Lord God I pray everybody to go away feeling blessed and encouraged, I pray you give me what to say for your glory's sake, Lord Jesus Christ. I pray everybody be feeling encouraged, blessed, Lord God, and let holy fire come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, and fill them with confidence, fill me with confidence, power, strength, healing, Lord God, I pray you raise everybody up in the name of Jesus Christ and bless them with the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and addeth no sorrow with it in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So family, I hope you're okay. Hello, <laughs> I'm okay, I'm, uh, oh, well, I'm okay, I feel a bit tired actually, <laughs> quite a lot tired, I think it's, I think it's after yesterday and, uh, just the fact that I'm getting old, <laughs> that's what I think, I'm 53 on Sunday, so, so, anyway, never mind, I'm, I'm alright, uh, I love you all, thank you for all your prayers and support, um, yesterday in Bridlington, it was all right, actually. It was okay, and uh, it was just that there was. I think there's more people negative responses than than positive responses as I go out and preach the gospel, the way that leads to everlasting life, um, and a place in heaven, the most important message in the world. And there's more negative responses to it than than loving responses <laughs> and positive ones, you know. But that's because we're living in the perilous times. We're living in the end of days. We're living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming and we're waiting for him, aren't we, family? We're looking for our blessed hope and glorious, family, uh, glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13 Jesus Christ is coming. He shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then, we which are alive and remain, we will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. Jesus Christ is coming. And this world is in for a rude awakening. I'm sorry to say it is. A big, big rude awakening. But anyway, so I'm just having a rest today. Couldn't believe it. I've had no back pain for a few days and I woke up this morning with blowing back pain again. So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm not going to stop preaching. I'm still going to be preaching. I'm just, uh, I think I just need to drink more water actually. Uh, yesterday I think I had too many coffees. I like a few coffees when I'm preaching to try and, you know, put a bit of caffeine in me. Uh, yeah, I know, I know God doesn't need me to do that, but you know, he is, um, we do tend to put limits on our God sometimes, you know. Um, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me, saith the Lord, in the book of Jeremiah. There's nothing too hard for him. Just remember that. I'm remembering it now, as I tell you, so that the things that are impossible with men are possible with God, so that we can overcome we can overcome these obstacles in front of us. I mean, Jesus said, he said, if you draw close to God, he will draw close to you. So, so if we do that, in the Lord is everlasting strength. So we can gain strength and, and um, by drawing close to God. And it's not just that. To, be, to walk in the flesh and feel like you're in the flesh is not a nice feeling. It's much nicer walking in the spirit being close to God. Remember, family, to love your enemies. Pray for them that persecute you. Um, take your authority in Jesus Christ. And because we're doing a, we're in a war, we're in a battle. There's a battle going on in the heavens. And um, there's a battle going on here on the earth for people's souls, because people is walking blindly over the cliff. I don't know what they think. I don't know what they think because um, 
I mean, we're more than more than more than flesh and bones. We we've got an eternal spirit and soul inside us, and um, that that will spend it. We will spend eternity in either heaven or hell, depending on our, uh, whether we accept the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. All those people who mock and scoff and and uh, reject God and only find out how real hell is when they land there, I bet they're well, they're eternally sorry. Uh, this this in this life we have the chance to uh, believe on the Lord God Almighty. The Bible says that nobody's without nobody's with any excuse to say there is no God because we can clearly see God in the things that He have made. I mean just look at it down here. I mean you can clearly see uh, the the, uh, the finger of God upon this world. I mean, I can't believe people believe these nonsensical scientists, you know, who say 50 billion years ago this was happening, and like you know, like they were there, you know, 50 billion years ago, and they say all this stuff, and and um, this 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 all came about just by nothing, <laughs> you know. It, it's actually God God designed it God designed this world perfectly in the beginning it's man and sin and the devil that's ruined it <laughs> you know almost completely what well, it will be ruined in the tribulation I believe it will be artificial intelligence that will wreck this world that's what I believe that last kingdom on earth being one of iron and clay I mean I mean, I just looked on Google. You know, you get these Google adverts coming coming up about well, just news adverts. You get them on when you just slide your phone to the left. Well, there was there was two two um, um, uh, news um, readings of, of of about robots. You know, so they're slowly introducing them to people. But I I believe the models that they show. I believe the models that they show on the on the screen, they say they're the latest model like this. I don't believe that. I believe they they've got far far more uh, advanced models of these robots and stuff. Anyway, you don't want to be here for what's coming on this world. It will be one filled with robots, Nephilim. Um, it's going to be a nightmare, the Antichrist, the Mark of the Beast. It's going to be living hell. The Great Reset. You'll own nothing and be happy. So um, please believe on Jesus Christ if you haven't. It's not about in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not about anything you must do. For by grace, shall we say, through faith and that not of ourselves, it's the gift of God. The free gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So it's the gift of God that you just receive by faith, by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you will be saved with everlasting life. And anybody who doesn't do that, well, I think that's foolishness to, to, to take your gamble that the holy word of God, thousands of years old scriptures are not true, you know? Um, I wouldn't be one of those if I was you, so please believe. Believe on Jesus Christ, because he loves you. He loves you so much. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And you need saving and forgiveness of sin, because like the Bible says, we have all sinned in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for the glory of Jesus Christ. For we have all sinned and we all come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes Romans 3 23 and Romans 6 23 so without Jesus Christ you'll go to hell that's the truth so please believe on Jesus Christ he's beautiful and he's lovely and he's full of compassion so quick to forgive it doesn't matter what you have done it doesn't matter what you have done no matter how much evil you've done in this world Jesus Christ will accept you just where you are at if you will just repent and turn to him and believe what he did for us on that cross how that Jesus died for all our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried 
and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to scriptures. Jesus died for you, he died for me, to pay the penalty in full for our lifetime of sin on that cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sin. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day according to scriptures. You believe that in your heart to call upon Jesus and you'll be saved with everlasting life, sealed with Holy Spirit of promise, sanctified by the Spirit, set, set apart as holy to God, and justified by the shed blood of Jesus, and even glorified. And you'll have a one-way ticket to heaven. But um, I'll tell you something, each day that comes past, I think, I think, how on earth are we still here? Um, this is how close we are to the coming of the Lord. Do you know what, I just got chills all over me then. I know it's cold, but it wasn't because of that. So, uh, please believe on Jesus Christ. Because this, this world's going to be horrible. I mean, it's getting horrible already. The love of many is growing cold. And, uh, you know, men are lovers of them, their own selves. And boast and proud. The pride of life. The lust of the flesh and the pride of life which is not of God, not of the Father, but of the world. Um, people are angry. I know that from when I'm preaching. People take it out on me. Doesn't matter though, I don't take offence. But uh, I don't care about all the mockers and scoffers. It doesn't bother me. I know that Jesus loves me. I know Jesus loves you. And, uh, and I pray he blesses you today in the name of Jesus. And just lifts you up a bit and makes you your Lord lighter in the name of Jesus Father thank you Lord for your glory's sake Lord so guys whoa, yeah I'm very tired so today I'm just resting but I'll tell you something there's a quiet eeriness in the atmosphere a very quiet kind of eeriness I don't know what it is I can't explain it but it feels like something's going to happen and it's been feeling like that for a while but today just just no, I don't know just uh, maybe it's maybe it's the quiet before the storm. I mean, it's all lining up, isn't it, for World War Three and everything? It's all about to kick off. That's why, please believe on Jesus Christ. Don't get left behind. Don't wait until this great vanishing of people happens. All believers and and uh, little children and babies under the age of accountability. You'll still be able to be saved, but you'll have to refuse the mark of the beast and have your head chopped off. So no, believe on Jesus now. I love you all, family, we're gonna get going, but God bless you, hallelujah.